Hey guys! So in today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup look for this look that I'm wearing now. Everything that I'm using in this video is under £10, so it's entirely a drugstore look, but everything is also under that £10 mark, so super affordable budget look. And I really love this look as well. It's very kind of fresh, but still a little bit glam. I've got the half flick. I'm using my Petit Fleur lashes, which are amazing as well for that half flick, because they're really, really short, um, and they just sit perfectly along that line. And yeah, really fresh base, kind of slightly... Um, um, darker kind of slightly smoky eye but then I've got the nude liner on the inside that really helps to brighten up your eyes so the perfect look for a kind of fresh faced new year vibe and like I said everything is under £10 so I hope you guys enjoy it let's get into the video so I'm starting off with my favourite drugstore primer, which is the Rimmel Fix and Protect Primer. And I really like this because it's a really nice kind of smooth base, but at the same time it gives you a really decent SPF coverage as well. It gives you a really nice base to apply your foundation, that's what a primer's for, and it does the job, and it's really affordable. So I'm applying that, and then I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, which again, this is my favourite kind of really, really affordable drugstore foundation because it gives you a really decent level of coverage Coverage. It's kind of um, medium coverage, but it's definitely buildable but it just looks really natural it's very fresh looking it doesn't look kind of too matte or too cakey but at the same time it's not kind of too glowy it's just really nice so i'm applying that with my beauty blender and then i'm also using my bourgeois blur the lines concealer which is a stick concealer but it's not too heavy a lot of stick concealers can be really heavy this is really really creamy and just kind of blends really nicely it doesn't look heavy or cakey at all so i'm just using that to cover up around my nose on my eyelids and um, on my chin as well where I've got any redness and then I'm using my Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer in the shade 1. The last one I was using was in shade 2 so it's a little bit um, more kind of well matched to my skin tone and then I'm putting that underneath my eyes so as you can see I'm blending them all in with a beauty blender but I'm using kind of different colours for underneath my eyes to brighten and then for the rest of my face to kind of match um, the rest of my foundation. Then I'm going to do a little bit of contouring, nothing major as per usual, you guys know me. Um, I'm using the Collection Precision Contouring Pen um, or Stick, Crayon, whatever you want to call it. I really like this because it's not warm at all, it's really cool tone and it's just really easy to use because it's a slim crayon, it's not like a super fat one. A lot of them you get are really fat and I don't get that because it makes it so much easier when they're slim. So I'm just using this to contour under my cheekbones and then along the sides of my nose a little bit as well. And then for highlighter, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match highlighter. I haven't actually used this before. Um, I use it in this video and I actually really like it. I'm using it just on a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just applying it to the tops of my cheekbones. Then I'm using a L'Oreal blush as well. This is the Infallible Trio and I'm just using the pinker shade from this and using that on my Lancome um, blusher brush, which is amazing. And then for brows, I'm using my Maybelline Brow Satin. I got this in my haul video that I did earlier this month and I've been using it non-stop since. It's so good. It has the double-ended thing, so it's got like the powder on one end and the, and the crayon on the other end. So, so good, absolutely love it. And I'm also using the Rimmel Brow This Way Gel in medium brown um, just to set my brows into place. And you do have to be fairly careful with this one because the brush is quite big. So what I do is wipe off any excess product um, from the brush before I use it and then it's actually really good. So just make sure you don't use too much. And then I'm using the ColourPop eyeshadow in Moonshine. I'm going to use two Colourpop eyeshadows in this video. I love this colour because it's just a really beautiful kind of natural taupe colour and it's just really subtle but still really gorgeous at the same time. It has a really nice kind of metallic vibe to it. I really like it. And then I'm using the Colourpop eyeshadow in Fairfax and just taking my tiny little pencil brush and just taking it underneath my lash line and then I'm going to run it along the top of my lash line as well just to add a little bit of depth there but I'm going to do some liquid liner too so it's not you know anything too major so once I've done that I'm taking a liquid eyeliner and the colour that I'm using today is a bourgeois one this is the future liner um, if I've said that right I think it's just the, their felt tip one but I really like this and what I'm doing is just taking a little flick from the middle of my eye just on the outer half so it's really subtle just a little bit of a kind of feline flick and then I'm also going to be using another Rimmel product which is one of my all-time favorites is Rimmel Scandalize nude eyeliner if you're looking for a nude eyeliner and you haven't tried this one get it it's amazing and I'm just putting that on the waterline just to brighten up my eyes 
Then for mascara, I'm using the Max Factor Masterpiece. Again, another one of my drugstore favorites. Absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. It gives you volume, definition, and length all at the same time. It's kind of one of those does everything mascaras. It's great. And then I'm using my Rimmel Lasting Finish, um, the Kate Moss one in My Nude. I really love this color. It's just like a slight pinky nude color. Really pretty, easy to wear, great daytime color. So I'm applying that. And then I'm popping a little bit of my Topshop Lip Perfector in the nude color on top of that as well, just to add a little bit of depth to the color. I really love this product. I actually hadn't used it in a while before I filmed this video and kind of forgotten how good it was. And then to finish off the look, I'm putting on some lashes. I'm using my Isla Pissy Flare lashes today, which, as I said in the beginning, they're just very, very natural. They're perfect if you do a half flick or if you want something more comfortable that you can wear every day. They're really subtle, but add just a really nice kind of depth and volume to your lashes um, that you don't get from just having mascara on. So then I'm just going to touch up my liquid liner a little bit so that I can cover up the band which I always do when I'm wearing lashes because I find it just makes them look so much more natural and then pop a little bit more mascara on top and then powder. I'm using my Bourjois Silk Edition powder today which I think is actually only available in France. I have never found it in the UK and I really like it. I bought it when I was in Paris. I'm just popping a little bit of that onto my T-zone with a brush that is way too big but it was the only one I had when I was filming. And that's it for this look. I really hope you guys like it. It's just very fresh, very easy to wear, perfect kind of daytime look for the new year. So that's it for this video. I really hope you like the look and I hope you guys are enjoying my drugstore series. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more drugstore videos coming very soon. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.